What's up you guys, Gold Pony here today. Today we have some Ford Performance hood struts. It's about time, right? We are going to be doing an install video. So let me first start by saying this video is way, way, way overdue. I've actually had these for quite a while, but anyways, this is honestly one of the most inexpensive mods. And if you do plan on working on your car quite often, the Ford Performance hood struts are definitely going to be helpful because as you guys can see, got a little, got a little prop rod in the way for now. So we're gonna fix that today. Courtesy of CJ Pony Parts, I'm gonna put the link to these Ford Performance hood struts in the description box below. So feel free to click that link if you wanted to get these. I think they're like $71, that's it. There are some discount codes I think you can find on like Retail Me Not or something like that. So they're gonna be there too. But anyways, very inexpensive mod. CJ Pony Parts is where to get them. So what do you say? Let's go ahead and start this installation. All right, so let me first start by showing you guys what is actually in the, uh, in the box here. I might as well take these out Ford performance hood struts themselves of course you're gonna have don't roll away from me instructions for installing your Mustang hood struts here got some hardware of course that's gonna be needed and perhaps the only tool that some of you guys may or may not have it's the uh, step drill bit um, this is gonna be recommended because we're actually gonna do a little bit of drilling here but up to the one inch mark but this is maybe the only thing you guys may not have. So I got this one off of Amazon a while back. So that's one route. It's probably the cheapest route. Or you can probably go to Laser Home Depot. But anywho, that's gonna be included and needed for this installation. So I'm gonna grab the rest of my tools and let's begin. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is install this bracket onto this thing. And you gotta make sure you grab the correct one. Um, let me just say, because if you put this like this, it's not gonna line up. But if you grab the correct one, this is gonna go here and this is gonna, this little 90 degree angle here is just gonna kind of sit there. And then this is actually gonna sit inside there like that. But anywho, all we're gonna do is disconnect this nut, slide this thing in, reconnect the nut once again, tuck this thing in there, and now we'll take care of that side. Another thing you guys wanna make sure of is since that 90 degree angle, just make sure it's all the way pressed down. and that bracket is done. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is remove the battery cover here. There's actually three little clips or turn screw doohickey thingies. I don't know what the terminology is. There's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. So we're gonna take these off, remove the battery cover, and then we're gonna drill into the battery cover. I'll show you guys that in one second here. All right, you guys, so the next thing that actually comes with this uh, hood strut kit here is a, uh, a business card that is not already cut out like this one. I think uh, I think Bill has already done the work for me here. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Um, <laughs> I didn't actually cut any of this out. So it's a business card. You just use scissors. You cut out the little uh, the perimeter, the outlining, and then what we're gonna do is kind of match that up. This is gonna match up with that crease right there. This is gonna match up with that hole, and then you're gonna use a punch. I don't have a punch, so we're gonna use uh, this. Screw. Ah! To make a little hole, a little mark, just so you know where to drill. I can see that. Can you guys? I, I can see it. All right, next part is the fun part. I get to use, oh my gosh, why is this thing so sticky? Gross. I get to use the step drill bit. This is gonna be pretty exciting. Cool. Oh yeah. Just so I don't drill into my, uh, my garage here, I'm gonna put this on top of a box. All right, here we go. All right, little bit of work here to do on my part. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, and so it said that this next part is the trickiest part about this hood strut installation. I don't think it sounds all that tricky, but I guess if you're gonna assign the, the worst part about this installation, it's gonna be this. So next thing we're gonna do is we're going to get this up inside there. So what you're gonna have to do is put it in even with it and then kind of turn it while it's in there so that this is going back and forth like that. So that when you pull up, it's not gonna come up because this is underneath of it. But the only thing I would say, cause somebody's gonna ask this is, you guys can notice there's two little circular doohickeys on the one of them. And on the other one, there are not two little circular doohickeys. Uh, see if you guys can see it. 
This one with the circular doohickeys, <laughs> it's gonna go on the left side. This is the best installation video ever. This is gonna go on the left side because um, because that's what Bill did at CG Penny Parts. So we're gonna do that. Once you have it in position, kind of lift up on it as you're turning it and that'll kind of hold it in place then. This is where I'm gonna to have to scrounge around for an Allen key. That's actually how you're gonna be tightening that. So Ford put a torque spec on this. If you have a torque wrench, it's uh, 20, 20 pound feet or 20 foot pound, however you wanna say it. So uh, I don't, so. We're just gonna tighten it. Feels pretty darn tight to me. Next step, we're gonna put the battery cover back on. We're gonna put it around that thing first and then around the rest of it. Slide that back in. Now we just gotta put the clips back on. All right, battery cover reassembled. Next step, we're gonna simply just put the HUD struts in place. They just clip in place. Um, they are slightly different, so they do appear to be side specific. So obviously I'm going to use this one for this side and this one is going to be the other side. But what you want to do with these, don't fall, is make sure the forward performance is facing outwards and then we just clip and don't fall, dang it. All right, so to make this line up, um, I was using the prop rod to actually try to get this clipped in place, but it's not going to work because it doesn't go back far enough. So you got to let the prop ride go, just manually lift the hood up a little bit. And uh, oh, there we go. So that's in place. And uh, now we gotta do the other side. All right, and so now in theory, this other side should be a little bit easier because you don't have any battery over there. So all we gotta do is simply do the top bolt first, and then we do the bottom bolt, clip into place, and that should be good. Now for the halfway tricky part. Make sure this thing doesn't like slide around when you're using that Miss, Mr. Allen here. Uh, what I do is I just hold the little knobby thingy with my left hand and tighten it with my right so it doesn't go anywhere, stays in place. And uh, by the way, again, if you guys like this Stegosaurus videos, make sure you like this video so that I know and I will do more of them for you. Once again, our beautiful Ford Performance hood struts. Make sure the Ford Performance is facing out so everybody knows how cool you are. And what we're gonna do is Click, click. All right, it is done. There is no, well, hang on. We are not done. I gotta get rid of this prop rod. This installation is not complete without disassembling this bolt here, getting rid of this ugly prop rod once and for all. But dang, it's holding itself up. That's so exciting. Let's get rid of the prop rod. All right, once again, it looks like a 10 millimeter here. So let's do this. I think uh, that, that's kind of ugly, that silver thing. Let's just go ahead and put this back on. And you guys, the prop rod is gone. I'm oh, sorry, that was a stupid voice. And we good, son? Let me explain to you guys something. I got my degree in economics. I am not a mechanic. I don't work on cars on a daily basis. I like playing around with them every now and then. Don't get me wrong, but what I'm trying to say is this was a super easy installation. Definitely would recommend these Ford Performance hood struts to anybody wanting to get rid of this ugly prop rod. And they're not even that expensive. They're $71 and some change. Again, the link is in the description box below. Big thank you, seriously, Bill from CJ Pony Parts, Chris, all you guys at CJ Pony Parts, you're awesome. I do appreciate this. And we have a guest appearance. Anyways, wifey says dinner is ready, so time to go back in. Do appreciate you guys watching. You, 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 you. I'm getting stupid. That means I'm getting delirious. And by the way, let me show you guys something real quick. I got this about a month ago. I love this thing, Craftsman Edger. Like I was using my weed whacker before to get these super straight lines that everybody loves, but watch this, look at this. Look at this line, you guys. It is so precise. Actually, it's a little crooked, I guess, but still. It is super crisp, like a golf course kind of thing. I love my Craftsman Edger. And that is about it for this one, you guys. Loving the hood struts. I am super happy with them. This is cool. Appreciate you guys watching. Again, like the video if you want to see more Stangosaurus videos. Feel free to follow me on social media. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Stay go. Bye. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm being stupid this whole video. I'm sorry, you guys, but I think I ended with bye. Apologize about that. Stay gold.